we are in unit 5 we will look at uh, technical change and management of uh, innovation the role of skills required in implementing change and uh, innovation successful change managers you know uh, you have a clear personal understanding if you are a manager you have understand not only that you have technical understanding of uh, the job you still have a clear understanding of even the people that you are managing so when you talk about uh, uh, change a technological change you know they, you will be able to carry them along what is it that forces the organization to change what the analytical frameworks for change if you are a manager even if you are not a real technical person but you have to have a, a clear perspective of what aspect of uh, that aspect of the prof uh, profession to to make it easy for you to carry along the workers in your department the you should understand how change affects the innovation but uh, people are at the at the uh, at the apex of this the skills for communicating change is not just easy i've seen people that they want they bring change in the, in, in an office where I, I once work they will just call the people tell them that i want you to do that i want to we are having this we are having new this one then people will be grumbling the next thing you will not get their cooperation implementing this change but uh, when you call people if you want to implement change there's a way to communicate change if a problem has existed in using whatever uh, mode model or method you have been using to do some jobs you start with uh, demonstrating and you know uh, explaining and demonstrating how that method how it has hurt the organization all the delimiting factors that are involved in that method of doing things by the time you finish uh, your explanation of your stories even the uh, the employees working with you will be yearning for change but some people want to impose change on others but because they are human beings the next thing you will see is resistance so implementing change needs persuasion it needs decisions that will involve the people that are going to implement the change it needs commitment you as a manager if you are committed to change <clears throat> you will be in a position to answer all the problem that uh, the employees your subordinate definitely they will want to push uh, uh, problems some will bring uh, stories negative stories in order to discourage uh, one from impl implementing change so if you are if you are ready if you are committed enough you will have patience enough and accommodate the people because it is the people that uh, are responsible for the change without the people the change can't take place so in conclusion we say that uh, change is critical management rule demands that understanding of the impact of change on the people is very critical as well how the change will affect them and you will understand how they themselves will affect the change if you are not uh, flowing along with them so we'll have to end here for now